So it's been a while since I talked about Baby Metal and Baby Metal merchandise. That's pretty much because throughout 2017 there was like no special merchandise. I did kind of miss out on the uh, re-release t-shirts because they had some Baby Metal t-shirts that were available in some of the uh, limited edition Blu-ray box sets and live concert box sets that they had. They re-released them, um, but the back of the t-shirt didn't have the concert, the original concert listing. It was the new concert listing. The front design of the t-shirt was the same. Uh, I did get that 2017 Baby Metal membership thingy so I can get those special items, but still the items sell out super, super quickly. And there weren't really that many items for 2017. There still isn't a Baby Metal membership thingy for 2018, so I don't know if they're even going to do that or when they're going to do that. I think they're going to release another album this year, 2018, because they said that there's gonna they're going to release some new info, some breaking news or something, I think on Fox Day, which is April 1st, I think. Um, but the last set that they released was the Fox Festivals in Japan 2017, the Five Fox Festivals and Big Fox Festival for 33,480 yen. Yeah. So that's like $335, basically, US dollars, roughly. This is another uh, Baby Metal membership, the one membership uh, item for 2017. It's a pre order. Um, again, five uh, live concerts. But none of them are new songs. They're just the same old songs from, from the Baby Metal album and Metal Resistance album. And they don't even have my favorite song in here. You know, there are some slightly new songs, like they only released at one live concert, live Blu-ray, that they also have here, like Syncopation and stuff, but it's just, it's not enough to pay $335, and like I said last time I bought, like, a really expensive baby metal item, I was like, this is going to be the last time, because I don't want to just keep listening to the same crap over and over, there's nothing new, there's nothing special, and the prices seem to keep going up and up, even if you buy it directly from A's Mart. So I doubt I'll be buying this. Hopefully they uh, release a new album because it's been two years already. Baby Metal is kind of like dying down. And I don't know if they should do a whole 2018 membership thing. I think they should just uh, open up a bigger shop to the entire world. Have more stuff in supply, in stock. And not do this Baby Metal The One membership BS crap. But that's my own personal opinion. I have no idea what 2018 is going to... Uh, well, I have an idea, but I don't know for sure what 2018 is going to bring for Babe Metal. Hopefully they have a new album. Unfortunately, uh, one of the guitarists died a couple days ago, or maybe like last week or something. I heard he like fell off of some kind of stage or something, and then he was, in the, he was hospitalized for a while, and then he ended up dying in the hospital. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't read everything about it, but that was really, really sad. And I kind of wanted to do its own separate video for that, but I just haven't had the time. So I kind of wanted to lump it in with this one baby metal video. So yeah, he was a freaking great guitarist. He uh, he was like in, I think, both of the Live in London uh, concerts. At least one of them, I know that. Because he did this freaking awesome guitar solo for the uh, Mischief of Metal Gods song. You know, that's the instrumental, comic band instrumental song where each of the four members play their own little solo type thing. And sometimes it goes on before Rondo of Nightmare. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Just like, he was only like 36, I think. And, uh, I think he, well, I know that some of the comedy band members were actually involved in making some of the Baby Metal songs, like actually recording them and stuff like that. I'm not sure if he was, but if he was, and they do have a new album coming out this year, then that might set things back a bit. Unless they were already done, and they're just kind of figuring out the marketing stuff. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait to see what happens, because Baby Metal is just... Stuff is going all crazy. But hopefully, stuff will get situated, we'll get a new album, we'll get some legit merchandise, and the merchandise will be available to everybody in the world. Hopefully. But I kind of doubt it on that last part. <laughs> Yeah, leave a comment if you want to talk about anything Baby Metal related. A uh, thumbs up this video if you liked it, I guess, or appreciated me doing it. I don't know. And subscribe to my channel for more Baby Metal related stuff. If they have some good products that I want to buy, I will review them here. Um, 
maybe some good baby metal news i'll be talking about it and i talk about other otaku stuff cosplay anime figures just a bunch of different things like that so yeah and as always don't be afraid to be an otaku